Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. You're watching Test of Time News. Episode 566. On Now You Know. Well, Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah. And uh, as we start this new year, let's recap Tesla's 2025. And let's start with the fact that... Well, wait, what was that last part? Elon said Tesla Model Y is now officially the world's best-selling car for the third year in a row. Nice. So the Tesla Model Y was the best-selling car in the world in 2025. As it was in 2024 and 2023. Three years in a row. Yep. Has that ever happened before? Probably. Okay. And Tesla just published their 2025 recap video. You know, when we started Tesla, the goal was to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. And that's what we've done. We need to update our mission, which is to achieve sustainable And if you missed some of Tesla's accomplishments, they rolled out FSD version 14. Optimus did cool stuff like Kung Fu and dancing. Opened the Tesla Diner in Hollywood. Model Y was the best selling car globally again. Launched RoboTaxi Network in Austin and San Francisco Bay Area. They completed the world's first autonomous car delivery. The Model 3 and Y standard came out. They started CyberCab production. They unveiled the Mega Block. Supercharger network grew by 18%. They installed more than 1 million power walls. Cybertruck was the first EV truck to ever get the IIHS top safety pick plus and NHTSA five-star safety rating. Teslas are the most American-made cars in America. Q3 was the best quarter in Tesla history. The Model Y refresh, the Model Y L, and the Model Y performance all came out. And the Model S and X refresh came out. And Elon said, great work by Tesla team in 2025 and 2026 will be epic. Wait, so in the Tesla video we just saw, it said CyberCab started production in 2025? Well, Elon responded to that question on X. He said, just testing the production system, real production ramp starts in April. Officially, I guess it technically started, but mm. isn't going to really start mm. till April. Mm. Mm. Tesla Asia posted our ninth million vehicle globally just rolled off the production line at Giga Shanghai, thanks to our owners and supporters around the world. And Elon said, congrats Tesla team for making nine million cars. And not to be outdone, over at the original Giga factory in Nevada, you remember that one, they posted, congratulations to the Giga Nevada team for producing their six millionth drive unit. And Elon said, congrats on six million drive units. Yeah, they make the motors over there. So David Moss has just done something incredible. He has driven 10,000 consecutive miles on full self-driving, including driving across the United States from one coast to another, driving through 20 states, all on full self-driving 14, without any interventions. Yeah, David said, I'm proud to announce that I've successfully completed the world's first USA coast-to-coast -coast fully autonomous drive. I left the Tesla diner in Los Angeles two days and 20 hours ago and now have ended in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, 2,732.4 miles. This was accomplished with FSD version 14.2 with absolutely zero disengagements of any kind for all parking, including at Tesla's superchargers. So here was David's route across the country. And if you're like, well, across the country, it's only like 2,700 miles. Yeah, well, David got his car on September 20th, and here is his charging passport map. <laughs> Whoa, hey, I thought that was just like the map. And then I was like, oh, wait, I thought there were some in North Dakota. So he's just missed he, like North Dakota. He just outlined the entire country, basically. Wow. okay. And Elon said, cool. Elon said, cool. That's all you can say, Elon? What? That's, that's like an amazing post or something. You know, Jesse and I did something like this back in 2016 in a Model X. We drove across country and back 95% of the time on autopilot. But of course, at the time, there was no FSD. So this mm. really is an accomplishment that he basically got you to sit there and have the car drive him. 
crazy. And Elon said, we could have cherry picked drives and done this years ago, but far better for unaffiliated Tesla owners to do this themselves. Elon Tosai said, better to put the magic wand in the hand of customers. Elon said, exactly. And Andre Koparthi, who helped design the system, said the first 100% autonomous coast-to-coast drive on Tesla FSD 14.2, two days, 20 hours, 2,732 miles, zero interventions. This one is special because the coast-to-coast drive was a major goal for the autopilot team from the start. A lot of hours were spent in marathon clip review sessions late into the night, looking over interventions as we attempted legs of the drive over time, triaging, categorizing, planning out all the projects to close the gap and bring the number of interventions to zero. Amazing to see the system actually get there and huge congrats to the team. And I mean, I just want to point out, yes, Elon predicted that this would happen. Well, he predicted that it would happen by the end of 2017 in 2017. Um, So obviously here we are coming into 2026. That was a a bit later. Just a bit outside. But I think that he knows a little bit more now about full self-driving than he did back then. True. So the Boring Company posted Vegas Loop drop-off at the airport, still in the early phases of the program, providing a small number of rides each day. The ride includes both the tunnel portion and a long surface portion, with the latter shifting to subsurface when the 2.25-mile airport connector twin tunnels open, hopefully in Q1 of this year, thanks to the LA airport and so forth for reaching this milestone. So yeah, that's really cool news that uh, pretty soon when that connector opens up, you'll be able to take a Tesla from the airport to the convention center autonomously. And I think long-term, if the Boring Company can open more tunnels in different cities, Hmm. then I think robo taxis are going to be able to take them, you know, where you have a mix of both surface streets and subsurface, you know, tunnel shortcuts. Yeah. Do you want to pay a dollar more to not be stuck in traffic? I do. I do. I do. So Elon reposted this from Tesla Semi, engineers hitting 1.2 megawatts on the Semi Mega Charger. It's 15, 16. 124, 193, 271, 351, 430, 525, 628, 738, 851, 981, 1111. Oh yes, nice. 1206, woo! Don't shake. How excited they are as I hit that. That must be so great. I wonder the video before that if like, oh, it only hit 1.1. And it's crazy because they've just redesigned the Mega Charger plug. I know. So it's gone from a really big, huge thing to, I mean, it's still huge because it's (laughs) 1.2 megawatts. (laughs) Isn't that like a neighborhood, a town? That's a lot of houses, yeah. (laughs) All right, it's time for the Cybertruck Roundup. Yeehaw! The Cybertruck Roundup. Elon reposted this from Cybertruck. Grandma, you rock. And if you want to see why, here it is. Oh, I always press too hard. <laughs> and it's taking us now. Golly, I never, ever thought I'd see this. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of glad that I lived as long as I have. So. I never would have known that anything like this could ever exist. <laughs> Is it pretty crazy? Yeah, it is. Look at that. It even stops for stop sign. (laughs) Good for you. That's awesome. And we're seeing more and more of these videos because Tesla was smart. They made FSD free for the holiday season so everyone could go check it out. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people got hooked. All right, time for some SpaceX news. So Tesla accomplished an incredible amount in 2025. How about SpaceX? Well, Steve Jurvetson, who's on the board of SpaceX, says it's a wrap. In 2025, SpaceX not only set a new record for launches in a year, they launched more rockets in a single year than the Space Shuttle, Apollo, and Gemini programs did in their combined history. Congrats and so excited for what 2026 will bring. Yeah, we're talking about highlights like 165 Falcon 9 flights, Alone, that is 85% of U.S. orbital launches. We had five Starship test flights in 2025. We had the 500th launch of a previously flown Falcon booster and over 3,000 Starlink satellites launched in 2025 alone. And Elon said, well done, SpaceX team on a record year. We grow ever closer to the moon and Mars. And Starlink now has six million direct to sell monthly customers. 
Over 400 million people around the world have access to Starlink's direct-to-sell service across 22 countries and six continents, and it could save your life. Yeah, so make sure that your phone is compatible because you may not need it all the time, but that one time when you're stuck, you may want to be able to reach somebody. All right, it's time for a video contributor stories. Remember, send us your stories. Two minutes or less, shoot them in landscape. No wind noise and make it good audio. And send it to hello at nowyouknowchannel.com. What do we got today? Rex was driving home at night when this happened. So what's neat is that we can see exactly what happened because Rex shared these screenshots uh, with the car's telemetry. So you can see that after his car passes that truck, it slows down from 47 miles an hour to 38 miles an hour. So nine oh. miles an hour in one second because the car detected the deer. Interesting. The next second after this, full self-driving is off. Now, I suspect that Rex had instinctively taken over mm. due to the heavy braking and finally having seen the deer. However, Rex claims that the car was still driving on its own. In those situations, it's really hard to get a good accounting right. of what happened because we're talking about a Roughly two seconds here. Either way, the car still likely brought him down to 27 miles an hour, as you see, and then 22 and then 19 in that very same second. Yeah, I mean, if you don't know what we're talking about because you don't have deer that live near you, deer just aren't that bright and uh, they get confused and usually around dusk or whatever, they start coming out and they just dart like dart out in front of you. Mm -hmm. We've hit one once years yep. ago. You were a kid. Yeah, you can't. There's nothing you can do. But these cars can see better than you can because they're looking in all directions at once. And so this was close, as you can see, it was very close. Now, whether or not Rex would have seen it and taken it out or if he had been driving, if he had seen it, what we really do get to see here and we have perfect evidence now. Thank you for sending in the screenshots is that FSD really did save the day here. I think the deer across America should get T-shirts that say, you know, we love Elon. Drive FSD. That's save funny. our does. For the hunters out there, I think that'd be a funny shirt for the... <laughs> save for our the, deer for us. For the, well, no, I mean, you put it on on the uh, on the deer that you hang on the oh. wall. <laughs> All right, it's time for our Patreon bonus stories. Our first Patreon bonus stories of 2026. So join us, will you, and support us for as little as a buck a month and get all of our Patreon bonus stories. And our lovely patrons can also enter all of our upcoming giveaways. Right now, we're giving away this Tesla wireless charger. So what are you guys waiting for? <laughs> I might not give it away. Patreon.com slash now you know. All right, we're back from our Patreon bonus stories. It's time for the shout outs. These are the people that get their name at the end credits and they keep us going. Who do we got today? We've got Andre Bidenkoff, Brett Scott, Hugo Dom, Paul Swain, and Terry Hedgeman. Thank you so much for supporting us. All right, it's time for Elon's X's of the week. Tali said, Elon stocks aren't wealth. If the number of Tesla shares doubles, the world isn't any richer. If the number of Tesla cars doubled, it's measurably richer. And Elon said, correct. My Tesla and SpaceX shares, which are almost all of my wealth, only go up in value as a function of how much useful product these companies produce and service. This means that my wealth can only increase due to producing more products and services for the public. Moreover, anyone else who is a shareholder in Tesla and SpaceX, which includes employees, uh, participates in the upside of stock appreciation. That is because I'm a maker, not a taker like the Bernie Sanders type politician of the world. They take and they're on the take because they cannot or will not make. Elon said, as I was saying in February this year, and this is what he said in February 11th, at this point, I'm 100% certain that the magnitude of the fraud in the federal entitlement, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, welfare, disability, etc., exceeds the combined sum of every private scam you've ever heard by far. I guess he was right. He said the Somali scams have been happening for at least a decade and got bigger and more brazen every year. When the authorities like trader Tim Wall refused to do anything. The Somalis and many other groups were imported, given government handouts and allowed to do fraud without prosecution in order to ensure that a Democrat would win the election in that district. Nick Shirley says this isn't a left versus right issue. Fraud is fraud. Have you noticed the mainstream media and the left are trying to make it political? Elon said should be nonpartisan, but it isn't because Dems and their donors are the fraudsters. Jamath Palihapitiya said this is insane with no desire to stop the fraud. California politicians insist that they will start taxing property and assets of the richest Californians now. Elon says, correct. They would much rather raise taxes than fix fraud. Tesla Optimus posted, I've been walking around the Tesla office for weeks and they still haven't gotten me a badge. Elon said the Optimus hardware and Tesla AI teams are doing incredible work. Doge HHS says the HHS Doge team has expanded the Defend the Spend system to require all ACF payments across America to be justified. Elon said this straightforward proof of work requirement, which is trivial for any legitimate organization to provide, is basic common sense and will have a very positive effect on reducing fraud. New York Post posted Minnesota daycare scandal sparks concern over election policy 
policy that allows a voter to vouch for others made for fraud. Elon said vouching for randos during critical elections is nuts. Yeah, you can go into the polling place and vouch for eight other people. You just go, yeah, they're with me. What? Oversight committee posted, we're bringing in Tim Walls to answer for the massive fraud in Minnesota. Elon said, Trader Tim, time to answer for your crimes. And Elon went on to say, Trader Tim needs to go to prison. Polymarket posted, breaking. Formal criminal complaint has been filed against Minnesota Governor Tim Walls. Walls has responded by attacking Nick Shirley as racist for his investigation and blaming Trump. 91% chance of criminal charges. Elon said, off to prison for Trader Tim. God Saad said, my hope for 2026 is we administer the global mind vaccine across the world and begin to inoculate people against parasitized suicidal empathy. Happy New Year. Elon said that would be amazing. Elon went on to say that Neuralink will start high volume production of brain computer interface devices and move to a streamlined, almost entirely automated surgical procedure in 2026. Device threads will go through the dura without the need to remove it. This is a big deal. So you don't have to have like that quarter sized hole made in your head? Uh, You still have to have your skull, skull cut cut but okay. you don't have to have the <laughs> you don't have to have the peel of your brain removed that's a little better yeah C3 posted, a burglar broke in and only stole the documents an investigator would need to prove we are a legitimate daycare Elon said what are the odds Fisher King posted, I thought people were joking that Tim Walls changed the Minnesota state flag to resemble the flag of Somalia. They weren't joking. Elon said, I call him Trader Tim for a reason. Tim Walls is a traitor to America. Elon then said, I paid so much in taxes one year that it broke the IRS computer. Actually, too many digits. They had to update the software to get it processed. And Elon said, 2026 will be a banger. Elon said, XAI has bought a third building called Macro Harder. We'll take XAI training compute to almost two gigawatts. Try Grok download latest app. Yeah, you owe it to yourself to try Grok this year. All right, it's time for community mail time. What do we got today? We got some Tesla guesser. Where in the world is this Tesla? Okay. So I hope Uh-oh. I hope everybody enjoyed our Christmas episode. If you were busy, you know, enjoying Christmas with your family, I totally get that you may not have seen it, but we did a whole Tesla guesser episode. That was you a lot of fun. Compete with Zach. Zach, you did pretty good, actually. Compared to, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to throw our viewers under the bus, but uh, <laughs> now, well, you just set the bar high for me. I don't know. I have no idea what uh, this is. All right. So yeah, George sent this in. It looks Southern Hemisphere. That's mm. all I can say. Uh, again, if you watch that episode, you you got very burned by the <laughs> yes. Southern Hemisphere. Emmanuel sent this one in. Points if you can tell me the maker of the car. Again, Lic- license plate is not helping me. We're here. just looking for the country here. Oh gosh. All right. Next, Hans sent these in. All of these pictures are in the same place. So okay, they're it, different cars, but it looks place. Latin to me. The sun looks like the warmth of this mm. looks like Latin country. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And then Emmanuel. This is a different Emmanuel, by the way, than okay. the one who sent the other one. He sent this one in. Check this out. Oh, Optimus. Yeah. So we got to know where this is. I had our editors skip part of the video that made it a little, a little too, too obvious. obvious. Okay. But just, mm. you know, keep, you know. Take a look at it. Obviously, Optimus doesn't tell you where. Yeah, I'm looking at like the police are. officer mm-hmm. uh, and words. Oh, these are tough ones. Yeah, uh-huh. I don't know. All right. Are you ready to find out where yes. in the world these things are? Yeah, I'm not even going to guess on most of them because I'm sure I'd be wrong. Okay, you first guess? Yeah, Southern Hemisphere. I Jorge. So I uh, El Salvador. Mexico City. Oh, okay. Wasn't too far. Not too bad. All right. Northern Hemisphere. Right, that's true. Emmanuel. I have no idea. Uh, Thailand. I have no idea what the car is. Yeah. It is a Mahindra BE6. Mahindra, of oh. course, is an Indian oh, car so manufacturer. It's in India. Okay. This is near Bengaluru, India. Next. I said Latin country. Was I close? Yeah. Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Oh, all right. So there you go. We got the cool cyber trucks Two there. Two for Mexico. Two that's great. cyber trucks in Mexico this week. That's awesome. And then this one, I'm going to show the beginning of this clip okay. from Germany. And you can see it's at the Mall of Berlin in Germany. Nice. So, Optimus has been traveling. Though. Yeah. That's nice great. Big crowd. Handing out popcorn as only Optimus can do. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Don't forget to head on over to Patreon. We have a giveaway going on right now, as we have been for like, what, months straight. So if you join us for as little as buck a month, you can enter all of our giveaways. We're giving away thousands of dollars with the stuff. So totally worth it because your odds are really good. We'll see you guys again on Sunday. Now you know.